Hey, welcome back. In this video on how to use the Qt Game Engine, I'm going to be teaching you how to have your player walk around, pick up items that are placed on the ground, and then use those items via an inventory, a GUI. Um, we're going to actually cover an incredible amount of content. Uh, not content, because this tutorial is going to be very short, um, but we're going to do a lot. I mean, having your player walk around, picking up items, and then using those items sounds like a lot of work. You'll be surprised how uh, fun and quick and easy the game engine makes this. Um, I'm really excited. I'm really excited to show you this. So I hope you enjoy it as much as I, um, I'm looking forward to it. Let's fire up the IDE and uh, dive straight into the code as usual. Hey, welcome back. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to have your uh, entity pick up items. Um, let's go ahead and place some items on the ground first of all. So we got a couple, we got actually quite a few built-in items, but I'll choose a couple. So I'm going to choose, um, let's see, Rain of Spears. All items start with the prefix item just for convenience, but again, I may change this in the future, but you know, uh, it is the case currently. So we're going to use uh, Rain of Spears. And then we will also use, uh, let's see, Shards of Fire, that's a pretty good one. And teleport which lets you teleport so rain of spears it rains spears shards of fire shoots out shards of fires from the entity and uh, teleport lets you teleport we're gonna put those on the ground now oh and before I do that before I forget I'm gonna uh, disable the uh, spiders uh, basically the spiders field of view I didn't like it because yeah set show field of view it just kind of looks weird okay so let's go ahead and add those items on the ground So we're going to create it first of all, we're going to create Reign of Spears, item ROS, I'm going to call it that. So okay, I'm going to duplicate this and now let's see, we're going to create item shards of fire, change the type here. Okay, we're going to copy this here and this one is going to be teleport, change the name and copy this. All right, nothing more than just creating instances of those items. Now we'll actually add it to the map. So items are just, they are actually entities. If you look at the type hierarchy, uh, so remember when I showed you right click, open type hierarchy, we look here, we can see that, um, you know, items, if you go far enough back, uh, their base class is actually entity. So uh, let's get rid of that type hierarchy thing I don't need it anymore okay so we're gonna add them to the map just like we add any other entities items are entities so we're gonna add a uh, rain of spear and then we're gonna add shards of fire item oh, those are capitalized and we're gonna add the teleport okay so we got these items sitting on the ground um, well, let's position them because right now they're all at zero zero by default. So rain of spears we will do at 100 100 All right, let's duplicate these and um, Shards of fire we will do at shift it over to the right a little bit and the uh, Teleport shifted over yet even more Alrighty, so we got them on the ground. If you want to, if you don't believe me and you want to see them, I'll launch it. We'll make sure that these items are actually on the ground. And there they are. Okay, so we got those items laying on the ground. Now we want to pick it up. So, here's my thought process. I want it, I want the behavior such that when an entity collides with an item, that he picks it up and adds it to his inventory. Does does a entity controller exist for this task? And if it doesn't, I'll just create my own. Well, you're lucky again, because uh, this entity controller does exist. It's called EC Item Picker Upper. So we'll use it. And it's used just like any other entity controller. You just pass in the entity and the constructor. So EC Item Picker Upper. And let's quickly skim the documentation, because I really want to encourage you to look at the documentation, okay? so. 
it says, an entity controller that causes the controlled entity to pick up items as he collides with them. Nice and simple. That's exactly what we want. So, okay, so we added the items. We make entity pick up items as he collides with them. Uh, we're going to create an item, EC item picker upper, and we're going to call it item picker. That's aptly named. And we're going to have a control entity. Okay, so this entity controller will make it so whenever our entity collides with any items, that the item gets picked up off the ground and into that entity's inventory. Oh, and by the way, I probably didn't state this before, but all entities have inventories. Okay, a lot of the stuff that I don't mention, you know, I only have a limited amount of time in these tutorials. Um, I highly encourage that you skim the documentation of all these classes and functions that we use, because that's how you'll discover all these things. Um, I'm hoping that you, you'll kind of learn from my example a little bit here. Alrighty, so we got the controller attached. Um, okay, so let me show you that. Uh, I know people often like to see things step by step. So if you guys like that, I'll go ahead and launch and show you that indeed those items will disappear. So here I am. I collided with that one, now it's gone. You may be wondering where it is. Well, it's in the inventory of uh, this entity. That one and that one too. So now our next, next task is, yeah, those items are in the inventory of our entity, but how do we see them? Is there a GUI to visualize them? Yes, there is. And I'll show you how to use that. So the game engine has its own inbuilt GUI framework that's very easy to use and nice. Um, there is a, a GUI object called an inventory user, which basically lets you see the inventory items in an entity and lets you actually use them. Uh, Demonstration is the best way in this case, instead of me talking about it. So we'll include it. Uh, this one, I forgot what it was called. Oh, inventory user. I just said it. <laughs> okay. So we're going to say um, allow using of uh, entities items. That's what we want to do. Inventory user. Oh, man. Okay. I'm um, sorry about my typing. It's a little bit late and I'm hurrying to finish this. So there we go. Um, I got work in the morning and I got a project tomorrow. So <laughs> I got to really finish this. Um, okay, so the inventory user, I should slow down. It needs a couple of things. You need to tell it a couple of things. Um, you need to tell it the game and you need to tell it the inventory that it's actually uh, going to visualize and allow using off. Um, I forget exactly why it needs the game, but you can look at the documentation for that. So we need to pass it the game, clearly because it's in the constructor. Well, luckily, we just called our game game. We passed it the game, and now it wants an inventory to visualize and allow using of. So we want that to be the entity's inventory. There we go. Nice and simple. And now one last thing is we actually need to add the GUI to the game. So add GUI, and we want to add the inventory user. I don't need that extra space there. Now, okay, semicolon that I forgot. And if everything goes well, we will see it in action. Okay, so we got a little inventory there, and we're visualizing the player's inventory right now. And he has an animation attack, which is, that's the icon for it. We got those items up in the left-hand corner. Let's pick it up. Ooh, we picked up the teleport, we picked up the shards of fire, and we picked up the rain of spears. Not only can we visualize what's in our inventory, but we can actually use them. So let's go ahead and, for example, let's use the teleport, right? So I want to get really close to that spider. So I'm going to click this teleport, my cursor changes, and now I will teleport right next to him. See that? Kind of cool. And I'll also go ahead and use the shards of uh, fire. This is a debug build, so it might be slow. And I'm also recording. My FPS is going to be low. It's not this slow in real life. There we go. Yeah, that's very slow because I got a debug build and I'm recording and I'm doing a bunch of stuff on my computer. So 
that easily, you know, with a couple lines of code, we did all of this. We added an inventory. We allowed the player to pick stuff up. Um, you know, uh, if you ask me, that's really quite amazing. Um, doing all of this with with such little amount of effort. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you have any requests for future tutorials, uh, just let me know. And um, as always, I hope you continue watching these. I I really enjoy making them. Uh, see you in the next one. Bye bye.